Sandra Norberg, and um, I work at the information booth. Um, I've probably been working here for about seven years. I started out as a volunteer, uh, and I love it. And then I have paid staff for the last four years. Um, the market's been going, you know, since about... Well, the market moved here when the ferry building opened. Before that, we were on Green Street, and then prior to that, under the freeway here on the Embarcadero. Um, in the peak time, we probably have 150 farmers here in the summer, for example, when there's stone fruit and corn and all those good things. Um, we have market on Tuesday and Thursday. And the nice thing about our market is it is year-round. Um, a lot of the kids who come who have you know, started coming when they, they were babies and backpacks, and now they're growing up. And they, and they love the market, too, so that's really good. The quality of things that we have. Um, I certainly the the ambiance that we're back to we're on the Embarcadero and you can go out and back and sit by the water. That makes it really nice. Um, the farmers, the farmers are really special. I'm really good. Excellent. There you go. Man. Two out of five. Mm -hmm. From what Alex, yeah, he's helping somebody. I'll help you in. My name is David Winsberg. Our business is Happy Quail Farms. We specialize in unusual peppers. And actually, we're probably the only grower in the United States currently offering uh, fresh tobacco. The fun thing about being in the city is uh, part. Uh, I mean, the nice thing about doing farmers markets is we're dealing right with our end consumers, so people can see us week to week. We get to establish relationships. But uh, the nice thing about the city is that there's enough clientele that we can do a lot of unusual things and have enough clients to make a living at doing it. Smaller markets are much harder to sell enough volume, so uh, you know we the city is really our number one market for moving volume and, uh, and a lot of our unusual stuff.